Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I'm going to show you how to green screen like a pro. And not only that, we're going to green screen some video. I'm going to show you how to do it using free footage and free software and free everything, guys. A lot of people are getting started in YouTube. Looks scary, right? How do you make these cool videos? It looks so hard. It must be so hard. It's not. I'm going to show you how to do it in like three or four minutes using only free tools. This is the footage I selected. It is awful and it is deliberately awful. This is a lady that's very poorly lit in front of a chalkboard for all intents and purposes. That's got stuff all over it. It doesn't look right at all. I've selected the hardest, the ugliest, the most difficult footage on purpose because if you can green screen this using free tools, you can green screen literally anything. So here is what proper footage should look like. Here's a video of a lady, a nice looking lady just doing whatever the heck in front of a properly lit green screen. Easy, very easy to, uh, to, to fix. This, not so much. Not to worry, let's go to Hit Film Express and see what the end result looks like. Left click, clicking right here, and presto, you'll see here that I've got that lady talking from in front of that green, in front of that chalkboard, lit and talking in front of an image of the Eiffel Tower, just about just about a perfect green screen. So let's go ahead and start from scratch, and let me show you how I did it. All right, I'm going to delete all that footage, and we're going to start from zero. The first step is you want to take the footage, which is that ugly green screen footage and I mean the footage is ugly not the lady's ugly she's very pretty left click on it drag it into video track one just like this if it's your first time it'll say uh, yeah do you want to change the settings make sure you click on yes you want your settings to be equal to the green screen footage in almost every instance okay good stuff now we're gonna take this image um, we're gonna take this video part of me and we're gonna move it to track two or video two but here's the thing, there's a good chance that you don't see video two or you only see video one because you wanna basically move this little line here so that you get more video. And you can also adjust this here so that you get more screen uh, on the video tracks, depending on the size of your monitor and how it's set up. So just make sure that you can see video track one and video track two. Take video track one and just left click and move it up. You just basically move it and there we go, it's on video track two. All right, we are on our way. Now, the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the image that I'm using. I'm using just a stock image, but you can use a background video, a background image, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this and move it to video track one. And presto, there we go. You'll see nothing, of course. First step is you wanna make sure that these two are the same length. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and slide that out. You just grab the edge and move it so that the track one and track two, the video and the image or the video and the other video are the same length. Now, let's go ahead and start making some changes. I'm gonna go ahead and click on video two. Make sure you click on the video and now it's time to start adding in the effects. The first effect that you want is color difference key. It's under keying, color difference key. If you don't see it, just type it in here, color difference and hit enter and there you go. There you'll see it. It's under keying. Left click on it, drag and drop it onto video track two. I missed it. There we go. And now when you, I do that, you'll see that the background is sort of starting to peek through. So we're on to something. Okay, good enough. Now, what you want to do now is you want to go down to the e controls. So we're under control. So we've added the effect. And now we're in the controls panel, but we're under effects. And you're going to see here green screen color. Make sure it's selected to green unless you happen to have a blue screen and then change it to blue. Now, we have a couple of d values that we can dial in. The most important one is the min value. It starts at 0.65, and as you can see in this one, because it's so poorly lit, we gotta jack this up. So we're gonna move this all the way up to 0.98 in this instance. And for some of you, that might be just good enough right there. It's not perfect because when I hit spacebar, you'll see a little bit of sparkling in her dress which means that we don't have a perfect uh, chroma key or green screen, but we're very, very close. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take down the max to 0.98 as well. Oops, see how this is kind of tricky though? Because at 0.97, it's toast, but if I go to 0.98, watch this, and this is a fault of the software, I believe. It's not, this isn't as good as the Adobe stuff, if I'm being honest. But this is free software and it won't cost you a penny. So there's that, which is kind of beneficial. 0.98, 
works. 0.97 was a mess. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit spacebar. And we're very, very close to having a good chroma key or a good green screen key. It's actually really, really close, actually. I'm going to just up the gamma a little bit so that it's a little bit brighter. And I'm going to up it to about 1.2. There we go. And now let's take a look at what we got. Ah, no, a bit too much. So let's go back to one. Let's go back to about one, wherever it was. One point. I'm going to go back to one. Yeah, let's go back to one. Hit space bar. This is an excellent chroma key or color difference key in this case. Now, you're going to notice that the background, the Eiffel Tower, isn't quite the right size. So I'm going to go ahead and click on video track one, which is my image. And then I'm going to scroll out a little bit so you can see here. So I've just zoomed out. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this image. And I'm going to reposition it down. No, wrong one. I'm going to reposition her here. And then I'm going to reposition the image. I'm going to click back on the image. I'm going to move the image to the left and down a little bit. Something like that. What do you think? I mean, again, this doesn't really matter too much. It's just the effect that I'm trying to show you. But let's go with something like that. Okay, there she is. She's right in front of the green, right in front of the Eiffel Tower. She's fully green skin. I'm going to go back to uh, zoomed in to 100% here. That uh, may be a bit much. And let's go to fit to screen, actually, because that's better. Scale to fit, and I hit space bar, and presto. We've got the lady. She's talking in front of the Eiffel Tower. It would be very hard for you to know that this was green screen if you weren't looking for it. Also, if you want to go one step further, you'll notice that the lady here, when we click on her footage, like if I double click on it, she's very poorly lit. So you can actually go ahead and if you're, if you're filming at home and it's not lit the way you want it, you can type in auto, and then you're going to see something called auto color under color correction. You can just drag and drop that on top of the green screen footage and it makes her a little bit brighter and that looks like she's been lit a little better. This isn't a requirement, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, and if you don't like it, if it's too much brightness, you can go ahead and just change the blend with the original. So you're just changing how much blend there is. So if you look at the this footage and then you look at this footage, it looks a little bit more like she was lit properly. This is an additional step. You don't have to do it. But that's it, guys. That's how you green screen for free using free tools like a champion. That's it. And we took some of the hardest, ugliest green screen footage on the planet. Well, not on the planet, but that I could find. And we made it pretty. Thanks for watching, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.